And we're back for the Tekken World Tour Master Event here in Łódź, Poland. My name is Mark Mann. I'm here with Will Van, and we're going to get right back into our matches. And you know what? One of, one of our... Um <coughs> All right, we're going to see which characters they're going to pick. It looks like we're hovering Josie and Asuka. Oh, Duomo Di Sirio. It's a stage that's been coming up a lot lately. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. All right, we're going to go right into it here. Sorry, I was dead for a second. It's all no, right. I forgot how to breathe. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> oh, gosh. As long as you remember. I remember. All remember. right, here we go. And what I remember is on the right side we see Uyu, Fergus, one of the best of Europe currently right now, going up against Stokis from, uh, from Poland. This you know, is winner's finals already. Oh, okay, winner's final of this pool here is pool number nine. You know, I, we've seen a lot of Josie play in the tournament so far, at least on the stream side. Yeah. Seems to be a very popular character here in Europe so far. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's because of Blackbeard. You know, oh, Blackbeard yeah. won the regionals. Now everybody's inspired. To one of the few, few, I would say one of the few Josie players to really put that character on the map, yeah. uh, especially last year. But now uh, we'll see how Fergus can do. The last time I saw Fergus play, I believe, was at uh, final round earlier this year. I haven't really seen him play at other tournaments yet. No, no. I think this is the first Masters event he's, uh, uh, he's attending right now. Fergus, he, he's, he's still a really good player, you know? He's got the experience, he streams a lot, and he's got, you know, a lot of training partners so he can practice with him. Nice. Able and to get the follow up here. Goes for the spin into the wrist chuck slam. <laughs> oh, looking really good for Fergus right now. He's up two rounds straight. Round three. Fight. There we go, round three. Oh, cancels the front two. Joe's going to the wall. No wall break. Oh, he tried to go for a wall break. He switched to the other wall. Went for a butterfly edge. Didn't work. Low poke. Two low pokes. Uh -oh. Nice. Good punish, but oh, can agree. Nice. Able to fight back. So Tokis on the scoreboard now. Two rounds to one. Yeah, it's a bit of... You know, he tried to end it with a back three. Fergus, it's a kind of a, his panic move. You know? He throws that a lot. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's really a hard move for a lot of the cast or a lot of players to even deal with. Yeah. Just being evasive in nature and having such an active crush window as well. Yeah, there we go. But the thing is, you know, Josie, I, I, I believe Josie has a, a, an amazing way to punish it. If, you know, if he's able to make her whiff that move, oh, really? she, can, she can get a launch for sure. Oh, went for the nice power crush. Him. Nice punish there with the 2 3. Oh, coming. Nice. Good adjustment for the combo there. Yeah. Went for the knee. But here comes Fergus now. Didn't like that screen. Oh, nice punish. Gets the wall standing oh. for the second hit lands. And final round here, match number one. That's pretty quick. Fight. There we go. No duck on that screen. It's kind of hard because there's a mid follow up. That's right. Yeah. And a low. Counter hit there. Follow up here. Goes for the unblockable wow. into the cancel there. But still gets the punish. Look at that. Working on a nice lead right now. He might be able to close that out here. This might be a perfect. Maybe. Still uh oh, one very close. Ugh. The tackle. That's not a. That's not a unblockable anymore. No, but it's still armored. Yeah. So if you perform a move, you'll still get you know the damage of it. But yeah, Fergus up one zero right now. Going back to the stage select. Which stage are we gonna get? The oh, same man. stage. This has happened a lot. Yeah, I think this is the third time it happened. Today. Yeah. They really love the stage. But yeah, his opponent uh, is Josie. Took two rounds of Fergus. I mean, that, that's an achievement. Well, it's going to be interesting to see, of course, you know, the important part is the adjustment period. Yeah, Whether or not you're going to be able, I think the more you're able to fight against somebody, the more you'll be able to adjust in theory. Yeah. Let's see, of course, if that uh, changes the gameplay on both sides of the spectrum. But anyways, we're going to go back into the match. 1-0 right now in favor of Fergus. Gets a big counter hit to start it off. Pushing towards the wall. Nice combo there. Misses the last hit there. Went for the double knee. But here comes uh, Fergus with the beatdown punches. It's not Butterfly a good place to be in for Fergus. Oh, gets a punish. Yep, that is uh, punishable. There's a the follow-up here. But still, you know, Tokus uh, fighting back. Yeah. Trying to get out of there. Good sidestep. Try to get out of the corner. You don't want to be in a corner. Oh, back 4 3, looking oh, to get no the follow up. Oh, there's the double break. That oh. might be it. Tooth Fairy whiffs. Whiffs. Round 
Why did he go for the troll? Why didn't he just punish that? I'm not sure. That was interesting. Mm. Good luck. No duck. Counter hit. No, no counter hit knee. The follow up here ball. gets the higher wall splat into the three ring circus combo. That doesn't match that much. Right? Okay. Oh, goes Don't. for the double break grab there. Oh, instant, nice crush. Yeah, instant slash kick. Oh, crouch that dash. Low. Wow. You see it? That's the second time you use it when it's low. Ow, oh, and that's going to hurt right on the noggin. Don't stay there. Round three. She has a really good rage shot. It hits grounded. It's, it's super fun. She got guaranteed follow ups after it as well. Yeah. No duck there on the second hit. You have to be careful. There's the can can kicks. They don't that's launch it. Uh oh, oh had opportunity there. This should be a combo. No, didn't no. dash far enough. It's a bit tricky to do, you know? Yeah. Very okay, strict there with the timing. You have to get a mini dash. Frick is just backing off. No duck again. Back dash. Oh, try to go. Oh, first. great block. You know, he's been blocking a lot of that. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, big counter hit. hit. Going the other way. That should be it. That's a wall, and the wall splat kills him. All right, two rounds to one now. Toki's turning it around here. Wanting to get this round, of course, we'll make it tie him up. Nice back dash, but didn't punish him. But Fergus uh, playing a bit more calm here. Wow, evasive yeah. punch goes to the other side. I don't like that move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a lot of people like it, because it, if you get hit by it, I get salty. <laughs> Same thing with the back three. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Side wall stun. Not even to get the combo. Still good continuing punish. the pressure, though. Oh, they're good punish there on the down forward, too. Wrist chuck slam. That's a two break. Oh, one, two. I did not see that rage. There you go. One low. And ends it with a low poke. All right, final, final round here for match number two. Nope. Nice. Again, evasive attack. In the three plus, three four. plus four. Yeah. Minute hits just going in with the robots, and that's a sidestep too, like you said. It's SSD. Oh, this might be it. He's, if he gets the wall, that could be done. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm black and bow. You, I use Fergus. Moving on. To top 32. Yeah. That's sick. Great stuff. Great display from both of these players, of course. Yeah. Toki's going to have another chance in the loser bracket. If he wins one more match, he should be able to get into the top 32, making it out of his pools. So we'll see how that plays out. But of course, we're going to have more matches on the way. They're lining up. They're lining up. All right, here's our next one. <laughs> Hard to see. Yeah, and the, the spotlights These are lights, really bright. They're super <laughs> bright. <laughs> ah. You know, I, I, I just went to the restroom and I saw just jo Joey Fury. He was just lying. He was dead. He was, he, you know, he, he said he, he had some trouble adjusting to the, the, the time, time change. Yeah. yeah, okay. And for, for someone that doesn't travel, that's tough. It's, it's really tough for people to be able to do that. I think it's also his first time that he's been outside of America for a tournament. It's his first time outside of, uh, in Europe for a tournament because he went out down to, uh, I think it was uh, Chile yeah. for the TWT event last year. He went to that event. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's in South America, right. Yep. But Oops. I don't think the di time difference there, no, it's, it's, not it's in the same like time zone. No it's, no, it's it's like three hours difference okay. over there. But, but still, uh, you gotta travel. This is a bigger time difference here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're used to it. Me? Oh, yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah. I time travel all the time. <laughs> busy man, busy man. Players already, I see. Yeah, we're gonna go to the character select screen and see how this battle's gonna play oh, out. I, th I think this is the loser's finals of the same bracket. Oh, is it already? Oh, yeah, you're right. I think that's the same guy, that's a Josie. A Polish Josie player. Thing. I think this is the first thing that we've seen. It this is thing. the first one I've seen on stream yeah. so far today. Yeah. Which is kind of, you know, kind of crazy because I, I honestly think Feng is probably one of the best characters in the game. I Definitely agree. in the top 10, for, for my personal top 10. Yeah. But, I mean, you ask a lot of people, everyone has a different top 5, let alone a top 10, right? <laughs> That's right. He's got a decent rage drive as well. The shoulder. Yeah, the, the shoulder, shoulder that travels a distance. Wow. Not just that, does the cool chip damage at the wall. 
forces a crazy mix up on block as well. Alright, starting it off. Nice. Hit him with the back one. That didn't hit because it was a bit too far. There we go. Power crush. Back dashing. Oh. Wow, that was a very far counter hit there on the down forward, too. He went into the ducking animation but did not go for it. Maybe he thought he wasn't going to hit. No. There's there again. We go. Here we go. He's going to get the follow up with the duck forward, one, two. This into my side. He, oh my gosh, he missed. No parry. This could be bad. He might be able to. Uh oh. That's going to uh -oh, stick inside his head. No. Why? Wow. Great so presence of mind there, though. Able to block the back turn low. So many dropped inputs of both players. Wow. Nice power crush gets the follow up there with the beat down punch. Oh, good punish again. Yeah. Peng has really good low posts, no? Oh, yeah. yeah. And also oh, the, the, the names are flipped, by the way. Yeah. It should be, right? Yeah, yeah. Friesen is the one who plays Wait, Steve, Steve, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you play uh, Peng. Yeah. They'll change it soon. Yeah, Soul, nice guy. Not nice. the bad guy, the nice guy. <laughs> Here's a combo. There's the follow up. What's he going to do afterwards? Yeah. Into the Rage Art. That might, it should, and it, it should. would be it, yeah. Wow. Two rounds straight for Friesen. And this is the loser's final, so if you lose this, you're out of the tournament. So you gotta play out of your mind just to stay in the tournament. Yeah, and a lot on the lineup, we see. You don't wanna make it out and yeah. not get into the top 32. I mean, that's really the next qualifier stage here in the tournament. Yeah. Oh, there's another counter hit, doesn't get the follow up. The constant aggression from Steve. Oh! Nice. Two rounds to one. Round four. Fight. Now what's he going to do? Oh, he went for the power crush. He ducked it, didn't punish it. Trade. Yeah, the trade blows. Oh, man. Hop kick. Let me do it. Not just that. He's going to push towards the wall here. Oh, he's going to get it. He should be able to tie. Oh, never mind. Ties it up anyways. So two rounds apiece here. Final round. Match number one. Oh, nice size. All the lows. Yeah, they're all adding up to just like that, you know, close to 50% of his life bar gone. Even yeah. more now with the power crush follow up here. One more hit could do it. And Friesen, oh, with the nice crush. crush there. Up forward one, able to close it out. And that's really an amazing move. That move covers so much ground. Probably one of his quickest uh, low crush attacks as well. Yeah. The range on that is sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna stick with Fang. Just gonna stick. With you know, what do you think about changing stages or going to character select, pick the same character and go to another stage? You know, if you need the time, you, you, you gotta do it, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to get a breather and just be able to think a little bit more about the matchup. As long as you're not taking too much time to kind of distract, detract from the event itself, mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's needed. Yeah, it's, it's only a first to two. A lot can happen in it. You yeah. gotta adjust really quick. A lot can happen or a lot can happen. I mean, sometimes Ooh. it's not enough time for people to adjust, but. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt here. I mean, two out of three is a dangerous format. Yeah. Round one. Here we go. Second game. Fight. Nice fish hook. Oh, no punish. Ooh, good. Able to go evade right underneath it. Oh, there's a follow up, man. Able to get the combo here. Drops it. Not what he wanted. Blue. Yeah, that's guaranteed. guaranteed. Double hook. And look at that. Reason right now up. One match in one round. This is looking good to him. Yeah, things have been working out for sure. There's the, the beat down. This time going for the mid option after the back one. I was just staying back waiting for a whip. Oh, there we go. Yep, gets the follow up here. Goes for the 4-3. Oh, nice. That I thought he had counter hit there. He went for it. He went all the way. Yeah, and again, good. down 4-2, two, counter two. hit. Duck transition drops the combo. Staying low in his face. Oh. Oh, goes for the power crush. One of the slower power crushes, too. Round three. Oh, we talked about rage drive, so what do, who do you think has the best power crush in the game? The best power crush? Yeah. I think I think Lily. Lily, That's a really? Weird choice, but I, I, I don't I disagree. You know? Just because it's launch punishable. It's I mean it gives her a combo, yeah. Yeah. But it's launch combo. punishable. Well, so there's well, a there's the a thing. huge that's trade off. Whenever you use a power crush, you, you go for a huge risk. And the most rewarding risk is the one that gives you a combo. 
that's that, that's my uh, train of thought. So you wouldn't say Brian's mock punch is better? Just because it's not punishable in that way? I mean, it's only punishable when you're near the wall. Yeah. No, yeah, because what, what benefit do you get from it? Uh, you could you could use it and hope you kill. I mean, I I guess there's a lot of theory behind it that you got to yeah. think about, right? Like even Steve's even Steve's uh, flicker back too is like that's also it, really good. Yeah, it's also really good. Yeah, but it's a high. I mean, just like the mock punch. Wow. Man, he's able to take it. Man, that was a quick set. And there we have another pull in the top 32. Yeah, they're adding up. Yeah. All, I mean, we talked about earlier, there's there's not that many international players no. um, outside of Europe, I should say. There's six Koreans, there's one North American player, but everyone else is from Europe. So we're going to have a healthy representation in our top 16, uh, which will be happening tomorrow from Europe. And it should be a nice battle to see who's going to come out on top. Yeah. You've forgotten Lovnit from Oh, India. I forgot about yeah. Lovnit. Lovnit still is in, I think he's on the loser side, right? I thought he was in the winner's side. Oh, he's he, winners? He's, okay, he's, never mind. He, was, he already went through. Okay. So he's waiting, of course, once we start our top 32, which will be starting momentarily as soon as we finish our pool play here. I believe we are trying to whittle down and figure out who's going to be the representatives on the winners and losers side for each part of the pool. Yeah, there's so many pools. There's 190 entrants. That's, that's, a, lot, that's a lot of games that has to be played. Yeah, I, actually, I was thinking about that question I did ask you about the power crush. I, I, I can't even pinpoint who I think has the best overall power crush. No? It's tough, because I, I, I have to think about it in re relativity to the moves that that work around it. So I can't think of just the single move by itself. No. Just go by character and just, what character? No? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think right now. If uh, I come up with it, I'll let easy. you know. All right. Well, but I definitely don't think Lily's is the best one. No. I think because you know when you, when you get a counter hit, it's gonna be launch. You're gonna get a launch. You get a free launch. Uh, doesn't it launch normal hit? I don't think it. I think it does. Yeah. Yeah, I think normal hit a launch for hers. I like loss, but only at the wall. No. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Because otherwise, it's just a big risk, right? Yeah, it's just crazy. It's well, actually, launch, Law has launch. two. Yeah, he has Law two. Has two. So bad. Yeah. So he has the the punch from a uh, DSS. Well, he has the punch from DSS, he has the, the kick from DSS, which can also be done with 4-4-3. Four, four, mm -hmm. But uh, I, the Sobaki, it got nerfed for law. You know, back, uh, back in Tag 2, it got... I don't know, it was better because it only absorbed damage, it dealt out damage as well. Yep. Now we're getting ready for our next match. It's still pools. We're almost to top 32. Yeah, almost have our final 32. <laughs> almost. Hang in there. You know, I don't mind. I love Tekken. You know, I, I love commentating Tekken. I love watching Tekken. Sometimes I just don't want to talk and just watch the games. Yeah, stop talking to us, guys. Let us, let us just watch. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. All right, we're going to go back to the cathedral stage. Duomo di Sirio. But the, the headmaster, Claudio, is here. And another Josie. Oh man, here we go. Oh, it's Tokus from earlier. Okay. Tokus. Salty and Tokus Salty. going at it. Yeah, Salty is a German player. He's, uh, really yeah, good. I saw him at uh, Damage Germany on stream. Yeah. He played against me in an uh, exciting set. Yeah. I wish I could be there uh, at Damage Germany. It wasn't that far from my place, but I couldn't make it. Oh. Yeah. Goes for the grab there. Staying back. Oh, nice. Oh, that Long was punish. definitely launch punishable. And he dropped the combo. I think that's the second time he drops that combo. Is it really hard to do the pickup after it? I don't think it's that hard to do. I mean, it's not as uh, timing intensive as some of the combos here. It just has to take a, a dedicated dash afterwards, a mini dash into oh, the, the follow-up down 3-4. So, of course, if you're doing it near walls, it's probably a little bit easier. Uh-oh, here we go. The follow-up here. Now access with Starburst. Oh, let oh. it rip. Nice. Good stuff. And that's a, really the strength from Josie is she has the ability to really get, kind of pick you apart from afar. Yeah, yeah. The crowd Braj has three. You got to be careful or else she'll launch her or you, she, she's going to do a heavily hitting low. Yeah, and that's the, the play style I like to see. You know, if Josie keeps going at your legs and then out of nowhere starts throwing out the mids, that's fun to me. Uh-oh, here the we go. Kick. Oh, and he got raged. That might be it. No, no didn't drops. break the 
Still got it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He still got it. Yeah. Not a total waste of resource here. No. But still tied up on rounds. Could be better up to my stone. Nice. This time getting low the follow up here. They trade while running two. He nice. likes to use that hop game. That was a crazy whip punish there. He got yeah. the forward one plus two into the guaranteed follow up. And then dashing this game. Oh, he expected the load. That's why he ducked and then got counter hits. Oh, great stuff there. Able to make the conversion yeah. on the combo. Knowing that last hit, able to net a 4 2 3 4 for the screw. Yeah. Oh, oh, the big launch. And look at this. He gets the wall, the follow up into okay. the mix up. Oh, it's looking really good for Josie here. Again, Kari hits. So aggressive. Keep it up. Has a chance. Yeah. Oh, the standing three. Look at that. Just like that. A perfect. Now, Toke is up 1 0 right now. I like that. Just a quick, simple poke. Nothing to, uh, nothing uh, that takes a huge risk to, yeah. uh, to end the round. All right, what stage are we going to get here? We are going to the Hammerhead stage. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. I think this stage has one of the best music OSTs. Oh yeah, I like I like the music in this yeah. stage a lot. I don't like the third round. I like the first two rounds. But really, I don't you don't like, like it when the when the choir starts no. screaming? It's too much for me. Too much. Too much. Too epic. <laughs> it's too epic. Yeah. yeah. Man, this is epic as is already. Yeah, this is epic enough. This is my level of epic. Okay. So you don't like the choir, all right? I got you. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get into the matchup right now. And Toka's up 1-0 right now here. And this is our loser's final from pool number nine. One of these two will move on in the tournament. Yeah. Will it be a Polish man or a German? Nice. Again, just pressuring there with the forward forward right kick. Sidestep hop kick. Yeah, that's a huge... A huge thing, I think, in the matchup. If Claudio is able to land his hop kicks, mm -hmm. it's uh, it really comes down to again how well Claudio can use his low attacks because his low attacks are not the best, but they complement his overall mix-up game with the the hop kick and of course with the running two. Running two and also the knee. I think that's what. Right, running. the knee is a good mix-up as well, yeah. just because it has the same advancing abilities. Oh, that's nice gonna be nice. it. Wow. Nice game. Okay. Oh man, he whipped it. it. Oh, he again. wanted it. He wanted that hop kick. Yeah, if you're, if you're going to kick like that and kind of wind up your leg, you might as well try to hit, right? <laughs> oh, nice. Well, sending the knee. There's the wild running two. And the pickup. Good conversion. Oh, nice. Nice. Josie with rage right now. Uh oh, oh did, did he press the brother? I don't did know. He he, oh, he definitely did. He went for the hop kick there. Yes. Is that going to be it though? No, not. not even close. One more hit could do it though. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh. gosh! Get off me! We're tied up. One round a piece. Sick. There's the counter hit. Here we go. Go straight to the wall. I like the aggression of this body though. Salty is really turning up the pressure right now. Up four, three. Nice duck on the wild running two. We got a launch. Josie's got rage. Nice down four. Continuing the pressure again. Oh, oh and that's a that's that an important thing. You know, the side step four, the down back three, the down three, all those low moves with Claudio, those things will add up over time. And that's the scary thing is you don't want to duck, you don't want to get hit by his hop kick, right? No. Especially when he has Starburst, you do not want to get hit by his uh four one plus two. I don't oh. even get close when he gets Starburst because then that something like that can happen. Yeah, well, that combo starter only guaranteed on counter hit though. So it's something people need to be made aware about. Yeah. Dodge that three. Oh. Look for that nice. opening. Wow. Down for two. That down for two. Getting in between the attacks. Here's the follow up. What's he going to do? Nice throw break. Interrupt. Oh, with a magic four. Excellent. Two rounds apiece. Fight. Yep, final round here. Yeah. Match number two. Tokus with the lead right now. Yeah. And it's night time here at Hammerhead. No fun. 
Okay, he's down 4-3. Continuing the pressure right now. He's not not even on life. He's going to have to be careful because Claudio has some extra insurance to work with here. Nice again, sidestep attack. She throws out those fours because she doesn't want to get hit by the wild running twos. Yeah, it's, it's always a scary thing to get oh. hit by. Looking to close it out here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Butterfly itch. Yeah, that's the thing too. You got to make sure it at least lands on block, man. That was a tough whiff right there. Yeah. Ended up losing it. Now we're going to a final game between these two. Oh, again, back to back. <laughs> we just did stage select and we're going to get the same stage again. The That's the fourth time it's happened. Yeah, it is. What are the odds? Someone will calculate it. No, I'll tell you what the odds are. It's 50 50. You either get the same stage or you don't. I knew it you sounds were going to say that. It sounds crazy, but I'm not lying. I'm That's not true. lying. You were technically correct. Yeah, I'm not, but <laughs> let's not do the math. We're not math, <laughs> we're not math guys here. No. Right. This is the final game between these two guys. Yeah, Loser game knocks out of the tournament. Winner goes into top 32. Salty opens up with a wild running two. Another wild running two. The up four tree. Wow, okay. good punish. Okay, punish. Yeah. Oh, oh able to it. close it out. Oh, no. Missed the wall. The wall. Oh, that's guaranteed as well. But the side wall messed up the combo. Oh, unfortunate there. But Salty right now up 1-0 here in this final match. All right. This is where it's all going to count. I mean, this is the, the long set. Let's see what adjustments these players have made in the game plan versus each other. Oh, that's the first we've seen use of the down back two there. Yeah, that's... Counter hits. Uh-oh. That's going to hit. That's going to hurt big time. Yeah. In the cross stress the end. Oh, looking oh. for the follow-up. Look at that combo. That was a good whiff punish. Throw break. Doesn't look too good for Salty, but he still got rage. There we go. Up 4-4. Four, four. There we go. Oh, look at that. Ooh. One hit away. There it is. Tied up on rounds. One round apiece. Fight. Well, it's kind of risky to end your game with a low poke. Oh, yeah. I think it's risky either way. I mean, yeah. anytime you go out with a low now, do you have people buffering low parries? That's true. Yeah. I think one of the trademarks, even like, you know, Neen, he's kind of buffers in the low parry as, as part of his uh, defensive spacing now. Yeah. Works uh, exceptionally well for certain characters. Oh, wow. Nice. Look at the damage on that. Yeah, that 1 plus 2 did so much damage, especially because it, it was out of rage. And look at that, Tokus one round away from moving on now. Again, this is our loser's bracket. Loser of this will be tied, for, I believe, for... Tied for a third, was it? 33rd place? 30. Maybe? I don't, I'm not a mathematician. But of course, winner will move on to our top 32. Loser side. Oh, counter hits. Oh, the wall messed it up. That's Oh, he went for the butterfly edge there. Got knocked out of it. But look at this. Just a sliver of life left. Oh, here we go. Final, one, final two. round. One, one. Sorry. Fight. Only one of these players will make it. The down four and one four goes unchecked. The low able to land. Oh, oh in the back. other way. Hop kick. Got nice punish. punish. Now back to the wall. This is a very bad positioning for Claudio. He's gonna have to get out of there. Yeah. Goes Does for the grab. Does it with a troll? Nope. Nice. Doesn't fall for it that time. Didn't duck. One plus two pro, not broken. Yeah, might be going the other way. Here we go. Close to rage. Now Claudio me. has rage. Oh, one more hit can oh do my it. God. Oh, that's it. That's going to be it. He's going to catch him. Wow. Wow. What a conversion there with the rage drive. Able to take it. What a set between these two players. Man, that was close. That was really close. That that rage drive ender. Yeah. Could have gone either way. And again, if you guys are tuning in right now, whether you're watching live at home on twitch.tv slash Tekken, thanks for tuning in. My name is Mark. I'm here with Will Van, and we're going to be talking to you guys, of course, about more Tekken throughout the entire day. We're going to be getting down to our top 16. Well, once we get to our top 16, we'll be playing that tomorrow at 1 p.m. local time here until we get down to our top eight and, of course, find out who our grand champion here is at our first European Master Event of the Year on the Tekken World Tour. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, yeah, me yeah. too. I can't wait to see. I mean, who's it going to be? That's the question. Is like, 
Obviously, the easy choice is Nii, and he's been winning pretty much every single tournament that he's been entering so far this year, with the exception of a few. Yeah. But there are a lot of people that can contend against them, and I don't even want to count out the American or European players in attendance, because they definitely have a good chance of placing further in the top eight than they probably expect. Yeah. But I really think that Circuit Joe Fury is one of those contenders. Oh, yeah. He plays uh, really well. Yeah, he was able to beat one of the, the best players in the, in the world as well in JDCR, and he did it pretty easily, too. Yeah. So now we're waiting for our next match. Yeah, it should be coming up soon. Yeah. Uh, the blinding lights. What? All right. Just sit back and relax, guys. We're going to get it sorted out. Of all the Europeans that you've seen, yeah. which one Who's the one that impressed you the most so far? The most? Uh, this year, you know, I've been watching everyone play. I mean, it's uh, since this is the first really focused European event that we've had, uh, I'd say so far from today, uh, it's hard to say. It's, it's really hard, hard to say. say. From today, it's hard to say. I think it, we'll probably find out more of that once we get towards our top 32. But uh, from everyone that I've been watching that I've known and I've been following for a while, I would say, uh, especially since I watched Damage Germany the entire weekend last week, yeah. Kane Trench, he's been very, very impressive from what I've seen from him. And he was really able to put hands on uh, a lot of players. He beat me in tournament uh, against his Brian. And, man, I think it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to continue to grow as a player throughout the, the season. Because, I mean, he's been just getting better and better since I first met him. When uh, I met him, when was it? When I, we went to the World Tournament two years ago. Second World Tournament. Yeah, yeah, in Japan. So that was the first time I met him. And he's grown so much since then. Yeah. He's here at the tournament as well, but we haven't seen him play yet. Not yet. I'm no. sure he's doing well, because I haven't heard anything about him getting knocked out. I think he's one in, the, in one of the later pools, so that's yeah. why you haven't seen him yet. Yep. Ah. So I'm looking at the next players, but I don't really recognize both of them. We're going to find out. I, I think I have... The player listing here. Let me see. So we have Zion from Italy versus oh. Olgotka from Poland. Oh, that's Zion. I don't recognize him with his hair like that. And then after that, we have District G's Kane and Trench versus Raz. And then we have District G's Rukang versus uh, Erdal. Erdal, Adex. Zion. No. No. Now, uh, Zion is uh, one on the left. He's from Italy. And I've played him before in uh, an Italian tournament. He's really good. I think he played uh, Devil Jin back then. So, using Heihachi in this matchup then? A Mishima. Oh, never mind. He's, he's floating on the screen. Yeah. All right. And again, we're going to Hammerhead. Get ready for the next battle. This stage has been showing up way too much. Yeah, it's just Is this a sign for to get people to buy the DLC or something? Mm. Is Harada working his fingers from the magic background? Could be, could be. Oh, interesting. He went for Kazumi. Remember, guys, this is also pool action. <laughs> Here we go. Kazumi versus Josie, round one, game one. There we go, starting it off. So this is winner's quarters yeah. in pool 14. Oh, oh man. Beautiful butterfly edge. Yeah, Olgotka able to convert there. Misses the last part of the combo, though. That's a bit unfortunate. And Zeon with uh, Mishimama, Kazumi. Kazumi. And look at this, man. This pressure here from Olgotka, able to use the switch stance in, a, I would say, successive fashion. I mean, even if you force him to block, it's a good way to push him towards the wall. Staying back. Oh, okay. Whiff punished it with at least a 1 1 2. Could have got a better whiff punish. Yeah, I mean, it's very difficult, you know, I mean, yeah. to be hey. able to judge the range there. You got to be careful. Yeah, that's true. This might be it. Oh, oh, no. Very close to the wall, though. Oh, the wild Last standing, standing four, attack. Four. Wow. Jeez. Able to thread it out there and get the win. Yeah. Could have gone for a reach. Or it, might have, it might not have killed, but it would be really close. 
front four. Oh, nice again with the whip punch there with the 3-1. Kazumi has so many simple tools that she can use to uh, harass her opponent. Oh, finish the string, no punish. Yeah, none at all. 13. And that's Back the thing is Josie could do the while standing 2-1 into the combo. Oh, that's going to be it. Two Beautiful. rounds straight. So Zeon continuing the dominance here in the matchup so far. Will he be able to go three straight and continue on? We'll see. Nice. Oh, the crouch dash moves. Nice low parry. That's a wall. Oh, couldn't get it because of the end. Yeah, had a chance there, but unable to get it. It was a bit too late. Oh nice, man, and look nice. at that. Just a sidestep in the the presence of mind knowing you could sidestep and sidewalk that mix up. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that oh, might be it. Never mind. Oh. Didn't get it. Didn't get it clean against the back of the wall. That's a shame, but he still got it. Just simple pokes down for one. Really good poke. Yeah, able to pull it off. Yeah. So Zeon will be continuing right now. He's up 1-0. Of course, this was a race to two. Let's see what stage we get. Hammer hit? No, we're oh. going to the Devil's Pit. Devil's Pit. It happens when you least expect it. If we don't expect it, it's always going to be Hammer hit. So we're just going to say it's going to be Hammer hit, and it's always going to be a different <laughs> stage. So this is game two. All right, here we go, starting it off. Fight. Like what I'm seeing here, the aggression here goes for the Shining Fist combo again, back to back. And mix up with the stature kicks. Just like that, more than 50% of Josie's life bar just one, one, two and low poke. That's it. Oh, definitely ready for it from the down forward one portion. Gets the low parry, the follow up here, and the wall. Flip over with Okizemi. You would think he would learn after the first parry. Yeah. No doubt. Still closing it out there. So Zeon continuing the advantage now up with another round here in match number two. Oh. The crouch has trees are working for it, but not well enough. No? Yeah, can only it, do it, so much. It, it adds up. I mean, you're gonna have to mix it up sooner or later. Yeah. Oh, goes for the command grab. Gets the wall splat as well. Put the angle. Yeah, a bit too far to convert with anything, and that's gonna be it. Wow. Closes it out. And look at that. Just like that, two round straight already on set point. Fight. This is still winner quarters. So we got to still got a chance. Uh oh, low parry into the knee. Fly. Follow up there. Nice. This time going for the mid option. Yeah. Something a bit different. Usually going for the high option, trying to get the counter hit bait. But this time getting the mid. Still continuing it. Oh, man. Well, Gota likes her string jab pressure. But yeah. There's only that much you can do with it. Wow. Just like that, you know, three straight rounds in such dominant fashion. Yeah. Zeon moving on, of course. Well, Gokai will probably see later on as well. Still has a chance to make it out, but man. He's now in winner's fight. Great, so. great performance, yeah. Yeah, really well. You know, the Italians are a really strong community. They, they all kind of play together. You know, they're different leagues, like in the Milan or in Rome. Yeah. And uh, they're considered one of the strongest nations in Europe of Tekken. You know, the, the other nation is, uh, of course, the UK. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, they, those guys have always come to play. Yeah. Some of their best players we've seen pretty recently as well. So actually nice to see different shines on uh, different parts of the world. So it's nice to see the Italian players, of course, the UK players and just players from all over. I would like to see more uh, French people, uh, French players or, or German players because we haven't seen a lot of them. Only Super Akuma has been here. Yeah. I would like to see Guni because Guni was also last week at Damage Germany. Did very well, you he know, did, using Jack, uh, able yes. to beat Mr. Naps. Mr. Naps, exactly. That's that's an amazing feat, you know. Yeah. It's not easy to defeat Mr. Naps, oh, yeah. especially in a tournament setting. Yeah, and that was a longer set too. That was a three out of five, I believe. Yeah. And I, I remember the sad thing is like he he lost loser, he lost. Uh, yeah, he used Geese first. Yeah. Yeah. He used Geese and he switched to Jack and made a comeback and was able to pull it off. 
I believe three to one overall, right? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. All right, we have District G's Kane and oh, Trench up on go. stage right now. We were just talking about him and how his performance recently has really brought more attention from the Tekken world. I mean, it's not every day you get to beat the best player in the world no. in tournament and send him to loser's bracket. Obviously, Ni ended up winning that entire event, but it wasn't easy for him. It definitely wasn't easy. He still got that good tournament mentality. You know, he always stay focused, calm, and composed. Even when he starts losing a, a matchup to you never see him express his emotions. He's always folks. Just look at him. Yeah, but you know what? This is a different knee that we have here. This is TWT knee. And we've <laughs> seen so far, he's been using Steve throughout the tournament. He's probably not going to use Brian unless he really has to or he feels very strong in a certain matchup. I think we're going to see uh, the same kind of knee that we saw recently at Combo Breaker where he just completely annihilated the competition. Yeah, yeah. That's the knee I'm expecting to see as well. We'll see. He is uh, definitely a, a scientist when it comes to playing and breaking down the game, so he yeah. he has a, a character for pretty much every single matchup. But Kane and Trench, of course, using that Yoshimitsu, character he's known very well for. I know he uses a number of other characters, including Miguel, Miguel. but I feel yeah. like Yoshimitsu, obviously, his strongest character. Wow. That's his main. Fight. Here we go, Brian versus Yoshimitsu, Devil yeah. Spear. Oh, a whiff! Yeah, so Raz, uh, Raz here from Poland. Poland versus the UK. I was very bold and courageous of him to open with a hell sweep. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, not a hell sweep, a snake box. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you gotta go for it, right? Yeah. You never know until you try. Yeah. Able to close that out. Look at Kane and Trench opening wow. up that lead early on. Up one round here. Let's see if he's able to continue even further. He got the eight points. Lost any four. He's no roll parry. Nice side step one here, of course. Everyone almost gets up at the wrong time. Yeah. Right into my unblockable. Please. Wow. wow. Rue kick follow wow. up. There's going to be a ton of damage. It might be Not hit. The wall. And just like that, two that straight rounds for Kane and Trench. That was 50, 60% or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Excellent. Goes for the wall, standing 2 2 punish. This time getting the triple follow up with the uppercuts, the screw, and the wall. And the follow up. Uh oh. The re wall split. Jeez. And look at that. Another perfect. Three straight rounds here from Kane and Trench. Kane and Trench isn't messing around. Yeah, not not a challenge at all there, seemingly. No, no. He's not throwing around. He just wants to be focused. He just wants to win these games. I feel like it's going to be tough. I mean, there's so many good players left here in the bottom brackets. Get ready for the next just time. even the fight to make it out into top 32, even on the loser side, is just going to be very tough for anyone involved. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's really tough. But you know, maybe his opponent is not that experienced as well. Yeah. You know, you don't enter a tournament expecting to win for the first time. You just go for it. You just participate and see how, how far you will go. Uh oh that was a a down for it too. Follow up. Jeez. Ooh, and just continuing the sweep. offense again. Look at that. Wow, it's just all oh, adding yeah. up. Look at that. Three times in a row. I, I don't know when he got hit, but that wow. was pretty much a perfect to me. Wow. Fight. You know, maybe his opponent's got tournament nerves. No? He's playing against King and Prince. He's really good. Might be a factor. Yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, players play differently under pressure. That's true. Oh. Kind of hit down for two again. Didn't even need to be. Wow. Kane and Trance has good optimized combos. Not just that, I mean, his spacing is really keeping him from taking any damage at all. Yeah. So he pretty much had perfects all the way around. Look so at far. that. Excellent whiff punish. Yeah, the Fubuki knee, the follow up gets the wall as well. Just like that. Look at that damage. All gone. Oh, excellent, Doc. Man. That was kind of a. The last. A very, very one-sided, but Kane Trench, you know, able to continue on. Of course, he wants this pretty badly. Just hearing how he was talking about the tournament and, of course, talking about his experience recently at Damage Germany yeah. shows that he's he's here to play. He's here to win this tournament at all costs. And, you know, he's going to have his work cut out for him. There's a lot of crazy players in this tournament still. I bet he's confident enough to beat a couple of Koreans. Oh, yeah. I, really, I wouldn't put it against strong him. Enough. Oh, yeah, he's definitely a strong player. Yeah. You know, that means like the gap between the Western players and uh, Koreans is getting smaller. You know, that's a good thing. 
because yeah, Joe Fury, uh, Kenyon Trench, Jimmy J. Tram, they're all top level players and they can compete with the best. So who do we have next? I can see on the stage District G's Ru Kang. Yeah, we have Ru Kang versus Erdal Adax. Erdal Adax. Now Ru Kang, most famously known for his Twitch clip where he hell sweeps someone <laughs> five, six times in a row. That's his most notable moment. You've seen it a couple of times, I think, during yeah. the breaks. The blast of the past. The blast from the past. Also a well-traveled oh, player. I got a reply. I got a, a message from Lord Ares here. Oh my god. Let's see. You know, Rukang has also been to a lot of tournaments as well. All in uh, Europe. I think he's been to the first Challenger event as well. It was in uh, Kuwait. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it was a uh, was it Kuwait but Battle Royale? Yeah, KBR. Yeah, and I Super Kuma ended up getting what was it? Yeah, he won. He won the tournament. He won right? the tournament. He played Tekken against Master got second. Yeah. Tekken Master. That's a guy who I like to see in more Tekken tournaments. Yeah, right? you know he went to Combo Breaker. He was obviously competing in the NRS games, but he still tried in Tekken, and he actually did pretty well, I think. Yeah, I thought he uh, he had a stream uh, had a game once against uh, JDCR on stream as well. Just hang in there, guys. All right, Rukang trying to warm up here. Welcome to the Keeping the hands warm. Very important in tournament play. Cold hands. You never want to play with cold hands. What do you think of button bindings? Um, I, I think it's fair. It's in the game now. It's, right? it's game. always yeah. been in the game. Yeah. So I know uh, there's been different opinions on it in, in the West. I mean, a lot of people looked against it in mm -hmm. the past. But I know in Europe, it's something that European players yes. always use. Exactly. So I, I think it's, if it's in the game, use it. I'm, I'm fine with it. As long as it doesn't give you like certain things like instant electric and godfist yeah. or like, you know, uh, one button. button taunt or something like that. that yeah, that kind of stuff is kind of crazy. Because I know past Tekken games did have that where you could map three buttons or four buttons even to one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the taunts. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Are you Koreans and the Japanese players, they play on stick. Yeah. They don't, they, I don't see any of them play with, uh, with uh, custom button bindings. Yeah, it's, it's very rare that we see that. But it does happen sometimes. Anyways, we're going to go right into the match here. Rukang with the Bob. Now, this is a great stage for, I think, Bob yeah. in general because just he does so much damage and he has the ability to break the floors at will. Exactly, and even with his front front two, it will floor break. There we go, belly, hell sweep. Perfect. Down for one. Perfect. This is winner semi. Oh, he dropped it. That's so good. The back two two just picked him up out of relax and got a full combo out of it. Nice. Again, able to use the yeah. back two, and he's getting a lot of mileage out of it. It's yeah. been working. He's just like traversed the entire, like the entire width of the stage. He's going all the way around <laughs> in circles. Look at that. It's a racetrack. Yeah. yeah. He's on lap number two right now. Yeah. And two rounds to none right now. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here. Spaghetti Rip told me earlier that uh, this matchup is in favor of Bob because of his back two. Oh yeah, because his back two is very, very difficult to deal with. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. it, it forces Eddie to not be able to use relax. Yeah. It's very hard. So a lot of his moves that transition into relax as well will get floated with that back two because it's fast enough. Yeah. Wow, that was counted. Oh man, that's going to be it. No. Yes. Ooh. I wasn't sure about that anyway. And he floats off into a, the space. Look at high can wild jump. Blue yonder, yeah. So sick. He has strong legs, I think. Yeah. He's got the momentum with him if he jumps. <laughs> we got the same stage. This is crazy. <laughs> Random select, same stage. Do it again. 
It's bugged, man. It's bugged. Yeah. I don't think even we saw a floor break. One or two floor breaks? We saw one floor break. Because one floor he did the down one where he went downstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't get all the way to the bottom floor yet. No. Not yet. No. People are staying away from there. There's a cursed <laughs> demon down there. You got to be careful. You up with your Tekken lore? Uh, sometimes. Give us a I try to be. I am a fan of the series after all, but yeah. we're going to go right into the matchup here right now. So Ru Kang is up 1-0 right now in this matchup. Oh, and he got the second hit, even though it wasn't guaranteed on combo there. And we're going downstairs. What's he going to do? Back 2-4, pushes away towards the wall. We'll try to oh, if he waited a little bit more, he would have got the full launch. Back 2-2, two, two. see? Yeah. That's the only thing he does. It's always going to hit him, and the, the thing is, it'll hit him at no matter what. But if he does it fast enough sometimes, he'll get the float into a combo. That's where it's really, really valuable in this matchup. Yeah. Oh, down wow. four, three, three, three plus four. Able to close it out, and just like that, Erdal on the scoreboard here. One round to nothing here. Match number two. Oh, he gets the follow-up. Yeah, three plus four sometimes has some weird evasive properly, yeah. properties. Yeah. Oh. Damn, another opportunity. This time getting the down three plus four at the wall. Oh, they trade. They did trade, and look at that. One more hit of one hit away from closing it out. <gasps> Again, didn't wait long enough. What's he gonna do? Oh. Down forward one, closes it out. Tied up on rounds, one round apiece. But of course the game count in favor of Ru Kang. Alright. No, back back four. Good whiff punish. Got, sick, got hit by the second hit. Uh oh. Lost back. This is go gonna add up. Oh, I thought he was gonna get the final hit there. I thought he was going to go downstairs, but he didn't. Oh, slip yeah. If he backed that shit enough, he probably would have hit it. Mm -hmm. But we're going downstairs right now with Eddie into the big stop, the back three. Attempted to the troll, but it didn't work. All right, two rounds to one now. Rukang looking real good. He is on set point. Oh, oh. the big launch. Oh, he pushes towards the wall as well. Very close. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. He goes for the belly. Trying to grab, but didn't work. Uh oh, having another chance here. Oh, ho, ho. back two two as a whiff punish. Yeah, it's still a great move option no matter what because it is natural combo on the back two two. Yeah, you just gotta watch out when it's blocked. As long as you don't use the whole string. Oh yeah. Speed and weight. So Ru Kang, of course, moving on in the tournament. We're gonna find out. We have a few more matches, I believe, that are coming up. So let me go ahead and check where we're at right now in the brackets. I think there's still one or two more matches that we're gonna see from pools, or are we already started with the the bracket phase? All right, we're gonna have uh, one more matchup on stage. Then we're gonna take a short break, and we'll be back, of course, with more tech in action. I think uh, who do we have here? Is that Phantom over there? <gasps> the Phantom, he made it. He did. He made it. I heard he had passport trouble at the airport. Oh, well, he made it here after all. He just ninja vanished out of there. He was like, <laughs> I'm out of here. I got to go to an event. Wow. That's sick. No, people know uh, the Phantom more of his uh, eccentric uh, you know, victory poses and uh, his traditions after he wins. Yeah, so this or is loses. pool 16. So this is the last pool. I believe this is winner semis. So we have District G's Phantom from the United Kingdom going up against Art of Ace from the Netherlands. Art of Ace. The Netherlands. You know, the Netherlands, they have a really tight community. I think the most well-known player of the Netherlands is Malekit. Yeah, and he couldn't make it to the event because yeah. of work, I heard. It. Yes. So he's obviously a very strong Oscar player. He's been a very amazing Oscar player since the Tekken 6 days. Yes. But it's unfortunately, very unfortunate. yeah. couldn't make it here. No. But he's got his friend here with us, Art of Ace. One of his training buddies, I would assume? Yeah, it's one of his training buddies. You know, the, 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 the Dutch community is just 10 guys in a WhatsApp group. They all play together. Yep. They just play together all the time. And go to the so who does, uh, who does Art of Ace use? I'm not familiar with them. Um, he uses three characters. He uses uh, Brian, Steve, and Josie. Oh, okay. Actually. Interesting. Yeah. Very strong characters. But which character do you think he's going to bring out in this matchup against I Master think, Raven? I think either Steve or Brian. Oh, it'll be interesting. All right. Because we'll see. He, I don't think he's confident enough in his Josie because that's a relatively new character, even though in tag I think team. sometimes that's the, the choice is you got to use the new character to really oh, test the opponent. Yeah. For him, I mean, it depends on, uh, I don't know, how well does uh, Phantom know Josie. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I, I can understand that because you, 
Well, uh, what's a better way to try out a character than on a tournament? Yeah. Or it could be suicide, you never know. <laughs> Anyways, of course, we're going to see from uh, Phantom here, he's going to be using Master Raven, I believe. Yes. I don't think he's ever picked another character. And his opponent, Artaface from the Netherlands. Master Raven. Checking out his button bindings. Shoutouts to the Dutch community. Malekid, Action Faction. And the gang. Sorry if I can come up with your name. This is still winners? Oh, this is still winners. This is winner semis in pool 16, so the last pool. We are uh, trying to wind down, of course, and figure out our top 32, but this is going to put the, I believe, uh, whoever wins this will be on the winner's final side. Yeah. Oh, and he picked Brian. Oh, you called it. Hmm? Steve or Brian, so yeah. we are in the Mishima Dojo. I hope your affairs are in order. <laughs> Round one. Here we go. Fight. Round one. You know, District G fandom, he likes to use the, the, the parry. The parry of Master Raven. He's got cool setups with him. And I think we're going to see them relatively soon. All nice with punish. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely see. Oh, nice. Able to get the hit, the follow up here with the down three. Oh, went for the up four. Gets the he gets the counter him. hit. That should be it. Into the back turn action. Look at that combo. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And he still got the wall. Tried to go for the counter hit 4, but didn't work. Yeah, and you know, Raven has a very interesting counter hit 4 combo as well. Still able to get some added damage here. And look at the combo here with the 1 plus 2 and the conversion into the wall. Oh, Art of Ace able to get that extra damage there with the slight delay. Oh. One for the punch parry. Wow. And we're going up, and then we're going across. And the follow here misses the forward forward attack afterwards. Nice 1 plus 2. Oh, the slidey. Rode him like a surfboard. That must be painful, you know. I, I yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mock kick, follow up here into the rage drive and tied up on rounds now, one round apiece. Round three. Fight. Round three, let's go. Counter hit, second hit. Oh, he doesn't go for the full damage, instead, opting to go for the quick, easy combo. Still did some decent damage, close to 40% yeah. now, just over 50% gone here from Phantom. Phantom's gonna have to make an adjustment here, but yeah. nice wall standing one there, Art of Ace. Going back the other way. Nice, oh. he was ready for it this time. Don't Just do it on upper. me. And there's a follow up there. Two rounds to one, and that kind of seals away that move. I don't think he could use a forward 4-4 four, four anymore. No. Nice block. Oh. Could have had a better punish. Oh. Nice duck on the second hit of that swing. That's a high. Yep, and the wall sending one. A lot of people don't duck that swing. Yeah, and a lot of people think they don't know that it doesn't jail. Mm. So it, it's, it's always good to be aware. Nice quarter circle wow. forward four follow up here. Phantoms with punishing so good. Oh, goes to the mid option and wow, takes mm. the knee. You will. So Art of Ace taking that first match. He came prepared. I oh, think yeah. he asked advice on to Malachi, like, what do I do against Phantom? Because they played already uh, once in a Dutch tournament. Oh, okay. And then uh, Phantom defeated uh, Art of Ace. Well, we saw he was playing very patient, obviously. He was able to get some big punishes when he needed it. Mm -hmm. That uh, jet upper was very clutch because it kind of kept him from, you know, having to repeat that move. And for all intents and purposes, that move that uh, Raven has has a nice built-in mix-up. I mean, you got to keep the player ready and patient. But if Brian Ellis has a big launch at the end of it, I don't think he's ever going to finish it, right? No, true. So he's going to be patient in that regard. And then not just that, he still has access to all the other moves. We haven't even really seen a lot of, you know, the typical Brian play. We haven't seen too much hatchet kick. We haven't seen a lot of uh, just fishing out for those counter hits, but... We saw a couple of soccer kicks, but now... Yeah. Oh, there it there is. It is. <laughs> oh, now we're seeing it. Here yeah. we go. He relaxed all oh, nice parry. Oh, my gosh. Now that's working. Yeah. And I think that's when Brian becomes most dangerous is when he can land those uh, hatchet kicks, mm -hmm. everything else starts falling into place just because of the spacing and the natural, you know, usage of his moves here. The, the optimum distance where he has where he can land back one for pressure. Uh-huh. All right, go the other way. Flips over. Back turns. Nice. You shouldn't do it too often. It might, might backfire. I mean. Yeah, it depends. I mean, it's not like she has a hop kick, you know. She could do a delayed hop kick if she wanted. But uh, 
She doesn't really get a huge punish, you know? No. Oh. Oh. face is playing really well. Ooh. Yeah, Master Raven's in rage right now. Gonna have to do something. And again, the low hatchet kick. Two rounds straight here in match number two. Looking to send Phantom into loser's bracket, maybe in straight rounds. There we go. We got a big launcher. This time getting the full follow-up into the mix-up. Goes for the unblockable. Nobody home. Nope. That's pretty linear, that uh, unblockable. Yeah, it's not nowhere near as good as Eliza's. I'll tell no. you that. Oh, oh that could have been big. They were still able to get some extra damage off of it. Yeah. But again, the hatchet kicks are coming out. Art of Face playing out of his mind so convincingly. Oh, he wow. missed it. Right through the teleport and the up forward four able to land. Phantom staying alive here. Able to get that round. So two rounds to one here. Match number two. Mm -hmm. He blocked it. That's the first time he blocked it, I think. Uh-oh, here we go. Phantom now, is not happy with that. Yeah, now pushing towards the wall here. There's the follow there with the shotgun knee. And getting a normal grab. Look at that. Yeah, he stayed on the ground a bit just to make sure, like, what's what's going to be the follow-up. Yeah, kind of eliminated the pressure options here. Yeah. But look, he was fishing with there with a 3 plus 4. You know, if he lands that on counter, it's going to be pretty much over. But you take the risk of getting hit by a low poke. Oh, yeah. Oh. Phantom coming back. He's really good at baiting whiffs and then just whiff punishing him with Oh, that. how did That's that a, hit? No! That was crazy. Oh, look at that. Right through the rage drive. And just like that, we're going to our final round here. Match number two. Oh, there you go. Big big damage there. Gets to the full charge. Forward, four, and three. And the wall here. He has an opportunity. Such a great opportunity for Brian. I mean, he has amazing wall carry. Not just that, he has the pressure of the taunt yeah. as well. Taunt at the wall can be really dangerous. Even oh, if yeah. he doesn't compete with the wall. Oh, man. Look at this big combo going the other way. Uh, the wall angle again messed it up with back one. Oh, could be anyone's round. Oh, my God. An excellent wow. whip punish. And Phantom staying alive here. Now tied up here. We're going to go to a final match between these two. Now, I've just been told here, by the way, that our original plan was, of course, to go up to our top eight. Mm -hmm. Then we changed it to our top 16. But now, I've just been told we're going to go to our top 32 and we're going to play the entire top 32 what? tomorrow. So if you make it to our top 32, you are going to be able to rest and hang out. Obviously, I know we had a little bit of a late start, but tomorrow our top 32 will be played in its entirety. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. Yeah, of course, we're going to finish the rest of our pool matches as well. But we're going to take a short break after this match. But again, this is a big one. We're going to find out who's going to be moving on to the winner's finals in this pool. This is the winner semis right now that you're watching between these two. Art of Ace versus Phantom. This is one of the last pools left. Yeah, this is pool number 16. Yeah. <laughs> Phantom already calculating something in his head. He's calculating his pop-off. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Just don't if he's going to win. Yeah, don't throw that controller at me. I've seen that happen. No. Round one. That was against Gerlanda, who was here as well. Yeah. He's never been the same since, right? Yeah. Uh oh, going downstairs, going the other way. There's the big launch. Floats him back up in the air. He's going to get the wall again. Yes, look at the damage. Wow. You know, that's a lot out of something that just hit out of the air. Oh, man, the reset position again. Do it again. One more time. No, it doesn't work. Oh, this time going for the down back three. I like it. You know, Phantom able to really put the rush down there in that round. And he is now in the lead. We thought he was done there because yeah. he was down two rounds straight here. He was able to make that huge comeback on rounds. And look, there's the one grab going downstairs. It's a bit far away. What's he going to get? No, doesn't get the follow-up. He's got so many floor break uh, stuns. And this is the first time we've seen the bottom of this stage in a long time. Okay, still got a float out of it. All right, going the other way. Doesn't get the wall, but yeah. still very close to it. Opting for an opportunity and slides right through. That's the oh, oh, and what a whiff punish. Wow. And for added emphasis there, the rage drive. Round <laughs> three. Fight. Oh, back, back one. Again, <laughs> continuing that pressure here. It's a good tool for pressure. No and again, problem. getting the one break. Down two. Try to catch him at the wall. That's where Brian's dangerous. You know, you don't want to get hit by that back four knee. That knee's going to lead to a ton of damage by the wall. Oh, able to teleport right through it. 
Yeah, I found the real Lexus uh, teleports. Now wants to mix up. And this time the double break. Ooh. Nice, down three, able to thread the needle now. Fanta one round away from moving on to our winner's final for this pool. It's not looking good for Artivase. Yeah, Artivase started off very strong too. Nice combo conversion here. Looking to get towards the wall. Big Excellent. launch. Nice punish. Now going the other way. It's near the wall, but it's not close enough. Oh yeah, this time going for the low. Yeah. There's the back, back one, one able to land into the chains of misery, but a good break. What's he gonna do now? He's, he's so close. And I think this is it. Oh, oh the slide. Man, and fans are moving wow. on. He's feeling it. Yeah. He's feeling good. But guys, I hope you are excited because like I mentioned, we are going to be going up to our top 32 today. And tomorrow we're going to be playing the rest of our top 32. But it's been such an amazing event so far. We've seen so many good players from all over the world, Korea, uh, everywhere here in Europe. And Europe. of course, we have the one <laughs> North American player all by himself. Sergio Joey Fury. Is he still around? Because he's, I he's still he's winners top 32. Yeah. He's waiting until later or until tomorrow now, I guess. He's done for the day. But again, if you guys have been tuning in, we're going to be taking a short break, I believe, and we'll be back with some more tech and action. So hang in there.